Hello, I'm Ellie Nieves, a leadership expert and an AMA trainer. A big part of managing diversity in an organization is having successful dialogues across cultures. Because unintentional misunderstandings can sometimes occur when people of different cultures interact with one another. But to create an environment in which healthy communications and healthy conflict can occur, context needs to be understood. Context is the cultural mindset through which a message is delivered. There are two types. First, high context cultures. In these, introductions and relationship building happen before business is discussed. Also, many things are left unsaid, letting the culture explain. In addition, there tend to be more nonverbal cues than in other cultures. Communication is also more indirect and formal. Two examples of high context cultures are Japanese and Russian. Next is low context cultures. Here, there's a little or no relationship building before doing business. Instead, words and word choices are very important. There are fewer nonverbal cues and words are precise and meant to be taken literally. Two examples of low context cultures are Swedish and German. Managing diversity through cross-cultural communication becomes easier with practice, but as with everything, it all starts with awareness. <laughs>